Yeah, I think there were quite a few key moments in that game. I think if you look at the first half, we gave back-to-back penalties away, and which allowed them in for their first try, which is disappointing. But uh, I think we applied a, a lot of pressure and, and obviously got back into that half. And just before half time, there was a series of scrums. And I thought we came out well in the second half, which is something we've talked about. And to score and get back to the one point, I think the momentum was with us. And obviously, a three v one, I think it was. And you know, it's a fourteen point turnaround there. So uh, that was disappointing. I think we scrambled very, very well. We created at the end of the game with uh, some players playing out of position. Showed a lot of character to come back to uh, to have an opportunity to steal it at the end. Uh, having said all of that, obviously the French played very well, and uh, we have to take that uh, that loss on the chin. Oh, and a, a pretty frantic game, a, a big test match from your point of view. What was it like to play in? Um, obviously, a lot has been said about those moments. Um, but it did feel, you know, you're not going to say anything about the inception of this decision. I felt we had enough possession um, and territory or geography on the field to, um, to capitalise and make more of the, uh, the scoreboard. Unfortunately, fortunately, we didn't do that. Wayne, does this in any way uh, change the way you approach selection for the, the next couple of games? Have you got any more room to experiment now that the title seems to have gone? Well, we're certainly not going to panic. It's, it's about building. Um, you know, we created, as Alan once said, we created a lot of opportunities today. So I think we're heading in the right direction. It's, it's about taking those opportunities. I think we made seven or eight line breaks. Uh, and probably if we convert one or two more, we're, we're well and truly in games and, and winning games. I think, um, you know, you come back to the intercept, 3v1 there, if we're accurate with our passing, uh, we'll probably score at the other end. So that, that is a big momentum shift. And, uh, yeah, just, just frustrated with a couple of decisions that we made ourselves. Shane, Tom Kinson, he seemed to have a pretty... Busy game otherwise? I thought he played very well and then pushed out to the wing. He did well there as, uh, at the same time. he uh, I think he was involved in that last play. Um, so all in all, I thought he had a very good game, bounced back well from Dublin. It's been three years since we lost at home in the Six Nations, ten years since we lost to France. Yeah. Is it a dent to pride as much as anything else today? Oh, obviously, we don't like losing. Uh, no rugby team like lose, likes losing full stop, but at home, obviously, we've built up a well, the boys have built up a, a very proud record and it's something that um, obviously is disappointing not to continue on today. But as I say, uh, I think we've got to look as, at this group uh, to keep building and uh, to be confident that we're heading in the right direction. When you look pretty frenetic at times today, were you able to implement your game plan as effectively as you would have liked to? It, it sort of panned out as we, as we expected, you know. Uh, they'd come with a lot of line speed and they managed us really well in that first half. We always talked about this game, you know, going taking it deep into the, into the last quarter of the game. And, you know, as I said, 17, 16, the momentum shift, we, we felt in a pretty good space, um, you know, and obviously things changed with that momentum of the, of the uh, intercept. But uh, certainly the game was pretty much how we expected it. It was always going to be a physical encounter, and I think uh, it certainly was.